good morning world uh, it's about five hours to the end of day number eight of 10 day race and day number four of six day race means they uh, they are like two plus a little bit more days to go to the finish um, I know that they are dreaming about it but still uh, they are transcending and smiling every moment uh, now it's a uh, good weather it's about uh, plus 8 degrees centigrade in, in the morning it will be like plus 11 plus 15 during the day so weather back to pretty good but they uh, going through not only physical challenges fatigue and blisters uh, just to give you some small picture what they are what they were going through all Sunday uh, we just follow Grahak on Sunday afternoon with no comments <laughs> You can see they need not only the physical strength but the mental strength and psychic strength everything and I think it's a wonderful example of events that doing integral progress to you you are doing integral progress so I asked runners a very short question what did they learn new during this race and here, uh, here we have the answers. The main, the main experience throughout this race for me was that uh, Guru really is in charge for everything because like a very good beginning and then on day three, day four, I felt like uh, there is this... Guru is smiling at me in this mischievous way and uh, trying to kind of say so now, now, now let's see how far you can get if I'm not helping you. Aww. And the next two days, this flow and everything, which was so nice in the beginning, just drained out basically. <laughs> and uh, it is kind of like, also both physically and inwardly a bit, you know, it's, it's always crushing your ego, these kind of experiences. Oh. I have more capacity than I thought I did. Cool! Wow, that's wonderful! But, um, yeah, <laughs> it's a challenge. That it's an honor to be here amongst some of the most loving and compassionate people that I've ever come across in my 30 years of racing around the world. Um, and that Probably for the first time in my whole entire racing career, I'm around like-minded people. Mm. And I've had a smile on my face for the past five days because these people get it. You know, it's a, it's a blessing to have an athletic gift. to push human performance is to honor the gift. We all come into this world with, with gifts and a lot of us suppress them and we hide them. But what people don't understand is that when we're out here 
we're inspiring everybody around us to possibly chase their dreams and transcend their limits go beyond the limits what is wow. the what is what is the limit where is the limit yeah there is no limit the sky is the limit <laughs> you know what <laughs> they put people on the moon as far as the mind can go you could achieve and i just hope that outsiders people in their cars in the park walking with their family got to see us push our limits and maybe they'll go home and be a better parent oh wonderful a better you know person at work and, and possibly strive to go beyond their comfort zone that they've set upon themselves and that's why we do this wonderful a lot of things, but the main thing is to, to be consciousness of my body because we talk. Uh -huh. <laughs> so if I keep the concentration, I can figure out what is starting to, to hurt and soft. been a tough race for me because um you know i haven't done one for four years but i thought i could try and definitely improve on previous and by about halfway through i had these horrible kind of blisters on the underside of the foot oh. but you know it's really been good because i learned that you, can, you just have to push through there's really well, there's no solution to these things you're looking for a hidden answer somewhere and someone silver bullet <laughs> <laughs> and after you realize you just push it in, and not as bad as you think. I think your mind just, it just seems like mm -hmm, the worst pain mm -hmm. imaginable. And it takes you 40 minutes to do a mile. And you think, well, this is it. And then after three or four laps, and a few other little bits and pieces, like a little, um, I can't remember, a sprint or something. But then you can get going again, and you realize that you've just got to push through these things. And then it comes back again, which I think is in a way frustrating, but it's quite good because you realize, okay, you each can do time, them. yeah, because if you just did it once, your mind would say, oh, I don't remember mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But if you've done it three, four, five times, then by the end of the race, okay, I've learned something pretty important. So I'm very grateful in a way that the race hasn't gone according to plan outwardly, mileage wise, inwardly, very happy with it. So, Grahak, uh, what did you learn new during this race? I just got to keep moving, really. Yeah, no matter how much and suffering keep, there keep is. Keep eating. Keep and eating. Keep, keep moving. Very simple. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and then you chip away. But it's not easy to keep moving sometimes. Like, well, yesterday was tough. Even yesterday? I thought second day was tough. Second day was tough. Yesterday was tough. Oh. Yeah. Seems like you're having a tough life. Yeah, I'm having, <laughs> having a good one. But you're tough cooking. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> the cookie's crumbling, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for the food. Okay, bon appetit. Okay, see you. Yeah, the most important thing actually is motivation. So, uh, since uh, I'm doing quite a lot of these kind of races, I noticed that uh, it kind of, it became a routine. So I'm not really kind of fully percent involved. Now so you, I could do much better. Actually. Now you can understand the panel. <laughs> yes, yes. I could do much better, uh, but well, somehow the motivation it comes and go and what can you do? The important thing is to be here. Perfect. See you at 700.